Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can be notified of new content. I also have memberships open now, so check those out. There's three different levels so you can find a tier that works for you. There's lots of perks and exclusive content with each one, so check those out. I'd love to be able to connect with you. This one is kind of a random one. I am all over the place in this one. I, I have no idea what I'm really doing. This is just an old piece that I'm seeing if I can figure out what, how to make it a little bit better. Um, and this is an old, old piece. Like, I think this was a practice piece from when I first was doing shellac burns several years ago. And for some random reason, there's just wax on one side. So I'm scraping it off, I'm taping up the sides, and I'm starting again. I didn't scrape off the painting, though. I, I uh, wanted to see if I could maybe use this as an underlayer and have some of the color peek through. That didn't end up happening either, as you'll see. But um, it kind of went in an interesting direction. I love watching myself tape up the sides of my paintings in, uh, in fast motion. <laughs> it takes me a while, and seeing me be able to just wrap the tape on the sides is kind of fun. If you're, if you're not in the habit of doing it, I would suggest, I would highly recommend um, taping up the sides of all your, your wood boards before you start. So I've, I've been learning a new technique called accretion. Um, and so I was doing it in one of my other paintings and I had some really interesting results. And so I decided, since I didn't really know what to do with this one, I decided to see if I could recreate those results on this painting. Um, what happened was, is I, I had already, I have a similar grid system on, um, in incised lines on my other piece. And I had filled them with oil paint lines and I had done some layers of wax overneath them, but then kind of scraped them back a little bit. And with the oil paint in the lines, it created this really cool kind of messy effect um, when I scraped things back. And so I tried, I thought I would try to do this and then see what kind of what I was inspired to create on top of it but I didn't really do it right first of all I, f I forgot here to put oil paint in the lines which ended up being fine like I just kind of scraped it back again and filled it up but uh it didn't work the same way as with my painting and I'm not sure why I'm not sure if I If I just didn't do it right, if I scraped too much, if I didn't use enough oil paint, I, I'm not really sure why I wasn't able to kind of replicate those results. Results. Maybe it was because those results in the other piece were kind of an accident. I didn't do it on purpose, and so this time when I tried to do it on purpose, it didn't seem to work. <laughs> so I'm going to have to practice this a little bit more and see if I'll, I'm able to kind of replicate replicate those results so I have a little bit more control because it's it's something that I'd love to do again in other pieces I just need to know what I did exactly and and the best way to get those results so that may be an upcoming video in the next you know few months So this piece is really a practice piece, and the end result is not something that, I mean, it, it's cool, but I don't really like it. So it was just kind of interesting to see the, the kinds of effects you can get um, a, a practice run for these new techniques for accretion. So in that sense, it was a success, but as far as having a finished piece that is pretty, that I like, um, that didn't really happen.
So there's a couple ways to do accretion, and I, I'm uh, not really good at, at either of them. There's a way to do it where you use warm wax, but then another way that where you let the wax cool on your brush a little bit before you before you apply it to the surface. And I tried. I started out trying the first way, and I just need to practice this way a little bit more. I may have scraped too hard, taken too much off. I'm not getting the messiness that I want with the oil paint. And it may be, maybe I fused too much. Maybe I uh, took it down too far when I fused. I do like how you can see the old painting through the layers of white as I scrape back. That kind of adds a little bit of messiness to it. Okay, so now I'm doing the, uh, the more dry accretion, I think is what it's called where you let the wax cool on your brush a little bit, and then you brush it on. And I found that using a Hakka brush, which those are expensive encaustic brushes. I don't have very many of them, but uh, they are very soft, smooth bristles. And doing the accretion with those, with those brushes is a lot easier, I will say. So I'm still trying to get that. So now um, I'm scraping back, but I'm using the ridged side of my scraper. You can kind of see some lines that I've put into the painting. So I've decided that I'm just I'm just giving up on the um, trying to get that oil paint messiness, and I'm just going to practice some accretion, uh, some like really try to build up the texture. So yeah, in this piece, I'm really just kind of, kind of flying by the seat of my pants. No idea what I'm doing, just practicing different things, different techniques, seeing what sticks. You can't really see it in the video because I've sped it up a little bit, but um, I'm actually holding my brush out of the wax for at least 10 seconds to kind of give it a chance to to cool off a little bit. All right, now it's another experiment. <laughs> um, and this is one where I was very heavy handed. So it's always my struggle. But this is alcohol ink. I decided that I've never really done a shellac burn over texture like this before, so I just wanted to see what it would look like. So I'm adding some color. I actually iron it down here a little bit to kind of flatten some areas. Alright, so here it's all dried, and now I'm going to use my iron over the, the texture. This was kind of a fun result. Um, I can see myself building a painting using this as kind of a, a background or something. Building up the texture with accretion and then kind of flattening out some of the areas. So I'm spraying it with shellac. This is clear shellac in a can. And now I'm burning it and the result is not very spectacular. The texture really, like doing a shellac burn through, through texture like this is, um, you don't get you don't get cells really, they're very small. The only place you can even really see that I did a shellac burner is in the flattened areas and you can hardly tell. So 
So I'm going to build up the accretion some more. And when you fuse with this, you do it really, really lightly because you don't want to lose that texture, but you do, you know, need to fuse a little bit so the layers don't flake off of each other. I forgot with the purple at this point to, to hold it and let it cool for a minute, so I had to kind of start again. But I, I do like this, doing accretion with a rotating colors. You build up this um, texture that is multicolored, and you can see those colors through the different layers of wax. All right, so this was kind of weird. So this is a color that I mixed myself for one of my projects. And you can see like the different color and I didn't mix it well enough here because you get, when you mix stuff yourself, at least for me, because I don't, I don't spend hours like making sure all of the pigment is, has combined with the wax so that you don't get any leftover particles. So because I don't combine it that well, a lot of the particles will sink to the bottom. And that's exactly what happened in this. So I got some of the, this is a combination of like a bright blue, some white, some black. So I, ha I ended up with a lot of black on my brush and the color that I brushed onto the surface right there was like a, this weird kind of dark grayish blue that didn't look anything like the pale blue that's at the top of of uh, the wax so I I did it again with that color and I didn't try to scrape the bottom with it this time I just used the wax that was at the top and that was a much nicer color for this piece at least so just be aware of that if you if you like to mix your own colors um, I'm not that great at it but I I like to to do it just to kind of see just to use in certain paintings um, rather than purchase different colors. But you have to mix it really, 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 really well. And there's probably some tools and stuff that you, that you can use that I just don't have. So I have to constantly stir it and stir it and stir it to get the pigment to, to kind of mix in. using a lot of tape here but this seems like the easiest way to to get a circle one thing I will mention too is when you do accretion like this you get a lot of buildup uh, along the edges. That may not happen for a large painting, but when you have a small painting like this where your brush strokes are all over the surface, then yeah, you're going to get some buildup on the edges, which I really like, but it can be really delicate. So you got to be really careful when you pick up your painting by the edges or that overhang over the edge. Can You can break that off really easily. And maybe, that, maybe you would want to, but if you don't, just uh, be careful that you don't 
be careful of the way you pick up your pieces. So as you get into the, the higher levels of accretion, like the more and more buildup you get, the, the thicker and thicker these little knobs and things become. And they start to kind of blend together so you get bigger and bigger, yeah, little, little nodules. I'm not sure what else to call them. One other thing I will mention too is that um, a lot of the brushes that I use are pretty cheap, uh, natural bristle brushes, but they the cheap ones can be really rough. And so doing accretion with the with the cheaper brushes, like it's fine, you can do some buildup, but because it's so rough, it can it can scrape away some of the wax instead of instead of really building it up. So for that last one where I added some some blue on top of the white you could see a little bit how I had scraped away a little bit of the blue like the blue wasn't wasn't sticking to the to the top and I was actually scraping away a little bit of the white and it was just because my brush is so rough so I definitely recommend using the Hakka brushes for accretion like this you can make it work with other brushes but I think your best results come when you use the Hakka brushes So I'm trying to be a little bit lighter here with these with these other brushes. And there's still a little bit of it. If you look close, you can see the white kind of peeking through the purple in a, in a couple of places. This one, it was really bad. You can see all that white. I think I even, I think it even went down to the purple underneath the white. But accretion is a really cool technique. There's a lot of applications, a lot of things you do, especially since you're able to kind of tape, tape it up and use use it to build up certain areas of your painting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was all over the place. Sorry for all the randomness, <laughs> but thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. Check out my memberships below uh, to get some exclusive perks and content, and I'll see you in the next video.